Hello there, this is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you're not sure what it's about, I um, cover plant care, fruit carving, and I do street food recipes. All started this year in January. Prior to that, I was just totally doing plant care. Um, today, we're doing some seed sowing. I'll be doing um, fruit, vegetables and flowers. I love flowers and I like to grow some of my own vegetables. I have to do everything in pots mainly. The flowers I can put in the ground but the vegetables tend to be in pots. So without further ado let's get to it. So here we are my kitchen table which I use for sowing seeds and potting on practically everything. Sorry it's a mess but the way it is. Um, I've got my flower and fruit and veg seeds uh, ready. I'm using queer compost and actually this is uh, some compost that I'm recycling because I've taken out the seedlings that were in there and I didn't want to waste it. I don't have a lot of queer compost at the moment so I wanted to make sure that I you know, get the most out of it and I've added some Burmy compost in there just to freshen it up a little bit and give it a bit more sort of nutrients etc. I've done that with this as well and using uh, I use these cups as well I recycle these you know once I've used them just wash them out and I've got my lolly sticks that I'll act as plant labels I'll also put a sticky label on there because sometimes you can knock the plant pot over and the label falls out and then you confuse them as to what you've got in there so we'll put a little sticky label across there so I'll start off with um, the, the flower seeds now last year in May I went to uh, Kew Gardens as some of you may have seen that video I did I think it was May 2020 and whilst I was there I picked up these seeds and this is uh, from World Botanics and it's Clematis Korean Beauty. I've not seen this type before. I think it's a new variety, not 100%. I do love Clematis. Um, and if I see an unusual variety in the garden center, you know, I have to buy it. I mean, I've got three varieties at the moment. I'll see if I can get the names up and a picture of them um, to show you what else I've got growing, you know, Clematis wise that is. So I'll be planting those today. Have a sip of water, a little bit croaky. And I've also got these Anterinum. Um, I'm not sure if that's a new variety as well, but it's a RHS perfect for pollinators. Little sticker on there. And this is Anterinum night and day. And the picture shows it sort of being red, but the description. Um, says it's almost black so black crimson and white night and day I think that's the reason they've called it night and day because it's almost black and I love this type of cottage garden plant I usually buy the whole plants um, coming in various colours pink yellows reds uh, maroons and I usually get them very cheap you know get a tray for three or four pounds and I have a whole bunch of them growing but I saw these and I thought these are unusual I've not seen this particular type um, before so I'm going to sow those uh, today as well and a friend of mine she her name's Shuana hello Shuana if you're out there watching um, she had this lovely hollyhock cottage garden plant see if I can get a picture of it uh, up and I grew hollyhocks um, in my garden as well, but this I hadn't seen this variety before. And it's a lovely cream with maroon centre. And uh, when I saw it, I asked her if she, she would mind, you know, giving me some seeds. Might not get them to flower this year because sometimes when you sow um, perennial uh, flower seeds, they don't always flower the first year. It's the following year a good example of that is aquilegia i like aquilegia as well 
and um, I've sown acrylage from seed before and I basically get the, the, the plant to grow but you don't get any flowers the first year and then they come back again the following year and then they flower so that might be the case for these but I'm going to sow them anyway and then I've got um, these seeds my daughter bought me some seeds for my birthday and these are Brugmansia it says Sanguinia and I'm pretty sure these are a red variety. Now I already grow Brugmansia, I've got the yellow variety. Oh, Brugmansia is also known as Angel's Trumpet. I'll see if I can get a picture up and I can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so this is a red variety. I'm hoping that they germinate and I get you know lovely flowers this summer. So they're, they're the flowers. So I'm going to pop them to one side and I'll talk you through the, the veg seed that I'm going to be growing. So um, last year, very cheaply, I, I got these from Aldi and um, you get sort of a multi-pack of uh, seeds. Now what I've picked out today, I'm not going to be growing all these because I've already got some um, uh, lettuce and cucumber, not cucumber, lettuce growing and cabbage growing. I did a video on that a few months ago but I want to do the tomatoes so the type of tomatoes that I'm growing today are these plum plum tomatoes that's not a plum there we go tomato plum see the little seeds in there so it's that variety and then I've got tomato um, money maker so money maker is this one so that's money maker so i'm growing these two varieties so the, i'll just see if i can put them side by side so that and that so those two varieties and i've also got some pepper seeds and that's what they are There's not many pepper seeds however in here i harvested a load of pepper seeds the other day i had some chopping up peppers and there were tons of seeds in there um, yellow and um, green so i harvested those seeds so i'm going to use those as well so i'm going to have them in this pot so i'm going to have my sweet pepper there plum tomato there and uh, the money maker variety in there what else are we planting? Ah, so I've got these. Now these seeds are melon seeds. And I did a fruit carving recently. And um, you may have seen it if you, if you like watching fruit carving videos. Have a look at that. Um, it's sort of the, the netted grey sort of um, covering on the outside, the skin. I think it's called a must melon so it has a, a rough skin not very big melon I have grown that variety before um, I, I got the plant from the nursery and I thought well why not try and have a go at growing it from seed you know instead of throwing the seeds in the bin um, have a go plant these so I'm going to put them in this tub here slightly deeper than the others and let's see if they pop up And what else am I planting? So just put my flower seeds to one side. Got my veg there. I have got these okra seeds. So I may put a couple of those in. I've got hundreds as you can see. Lots of okra seeds. I am waiting on some aubergine. And that's what's missing from here. <clears throat> don't have any aubergine seeds left I, I, well tell a lie I've, I've got this variety it's about four or five in there but um i have tried growing that before and they weren't great at germinating so i don't know why i've hung on to them but I, you know i have and also i will be growing um, some sorghum I'll just take this sorghum out this is a type of sugar cane 
sold them sweet cane. You see, this is this variety is black, and it's a proper name. I originally got the seeds from the United States, and let me just see. Black amber sorghum. Yeah, so this is this variety is black amber sorghum. So I originally just got about ten seeds in a little packet, and I've grown these ever since. I love the colour of those seeds. Um, these can be uh, eaten, you can grind them up, you can use them to make mini popcorn. The stalks are a bit like a bamboo stalk, they're not as thick as a sugar cane. Um, so they grow very much like a bamboo would. And if you're lucky, if they're thick enough, you can crush them and extract the juice, boil that juice and it turns into a syrup. Um, a, a similar to molasses so that and it's called sorghum syrup so we'll be planting some of these so I think I've got enough to be going on with for now um, as I say I'm waiting on some more um, mail seed mail to come through and hopefully I can uh, you know get those planted up as quickly as possible because we are at the end of January now and we don't have very long growing seasons here in the UK. Pretty short summers and uh, we have very wet um, winters so we can't really keep our plants, unless you've got a greenhouse, you know, keep them going um, on it. Right, so here we are, planted the seeds, tomatoes, the peppers, Clematis, Antirhinums, the Brugmansia, Sorghum. And they're all um, covered with cling film. So that'll keep the moisture in because it can get a bit dry in the propagator. Once the I see signs of germination, and hopefully I won't be waiting too long, then I will remove the cling film because you don't want the seedlings getting trapped under there and rotting so hopefully that will happen soon when it does i'll do another video update you all uh, i am um, waiting on some more seeds from nikki's nursery so if that coincides with um, these germinating i'll probably do that video combined so thanks for watching everyone if you've got any questions about these plants or seed sowing process um, put something in the comments below take care everyone bye bye